which is great. Okay, so you are going to, I hope you're all ready. You've got a nice clean piece of paper in front of you. Rip that off. If you take your, okay, so first of all, we're going to fill our whole piece of paper. We're either going to go landscape or portrait. Today, we're going to go portrait, so straight up with your piece of paper. And we're going to create a ring with our charms that are going to float around the page. So very, very lightly, um, with your pencil, you're going to create a ring. So take your piece of paper and you're going to go very lightly on your page round. So I'm going to do it here, very, very lightly, nice round. Then we're going to create the chain that goes on our charm bracelet with all the charms pinging off. So we're going to do, I'm going to show you actually first of all on the back. So when you do a chain, it loops round one side and then loops round another loop so you're doing big c's and then you can join them up this is just an example by the way so can you see it becomes a link i'm just going to do that in a darker pen just so that you can see So it's kind of like a 3D kind of link. And I'm going to show you in a minute how to do this. So just to show you, we're going to be creating these links. Like so. Okay. So let's flip back over again. So if we start on our chain, we're going to do circles. And we're going to overlink the circles like so. All the way round. Some nice circles. Hi everyone who is just joining. We're doing a charm bracelet today. Lucky charm bracelet. Okay, so you should have something that looks a little bit like this. And now we're gonna create them so that they look like they're linking over. So we say we start with one. I'm going to push a little bit heavier. We're going to do like a C shape and leave a gap where the next one slots in. So they're going to be back to front C's. So I'm just going to show you. So can you see you've kind of got a C and a C and a C and a C and you're following the outside of the circle. So you're following around the outside of the circle. All the way around. So that they're gonna be linked. I'm using a three H. So what you've got H and B on pencils, H's are lighter and B's are darker. So if you've got like an HB, which is a usual pencil, it's about a mid range. So you, it starts at one and it goes all the way down. So you've got H one, two, three, four, five, six, all the way down. And then you've got B one, two, three, four, and they go all the way up. So this is quite a light pencil. So 
So H is a lighter and B is a darker. So that's how you can do lots of shading with a pencil. Okay. If anyone doesn't have a chance to get involved now, it's going to be on YouTube afterwards on our channel. So don't worry. It's uh, Charlotte Posner YouTube. So just type in Charlotte Posner on YouTube and it should come up all our videos. And if everyone, anyone wants to ask anything now, the good thing about live is that you can ask questions. Okay. Okay, so you should have something that looks like this. Once you're here, we're going to join the rest of the this links up. So in the gaps, we're gonna do two lines either side. Take your time with this, we can all wait for each other. So can you see they're look it's looking like it's looking like a link. So you're doing the C's. And then the other side, you're just joining up the gaps. Any gaps join up so that they form a circle. We're gonna be painting this gold, I am, but I understand that I know gold and metallics are really hard to get. So if you don't have it, it's okay, you can use another color. Oh gosh, look at this. Don't know where that's come from. Red paint on the arm. Okay, so you should have something that looks similar to this. A 3D little charm. I've actually left that bit out, so I'm going to redo it. Just check there's no gaps. Check you're okay with everything. It should be quite filled in your page, so you've got you've covered a lot of your paper. So you've got a nice circle in the middle. So let me know if you can give me a thumbs up if you're if you've done something like that. I can't wait to see everyone's afterwards as well. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Beverly downstairs, who's doing this downstairs. <laughs> okay, cool. So you should have a nice linked... Link, link, links. Okay, now we need to think about what we want on our charm bracelet. Here I've picked loads of things that I love. I've obviously done a pop doll, so I'd like you all to do one of those. Um, I've done chips, heart, I've done a little star. This is um, a Sicilian, uh, Italian sign. It's um, a piece of red coral, which keeps like the devil away. I've done a little house, a little lucky pig, a cat, a smile in jewels a little gemmed beetle bug, an apple, and all sorts of things. So we're going to start by doing, you can do initials, you can do a message as well, so you could put, you know, your name all the way around, um, whatever you 
like. So let's start with a little pop doll. I'm going to do mine, but if you want to add any of your own, any of your own interpretation, you can. I'll quickly show you how to do the link again. You're doing little C's, little C's, both sides. C, 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 like so, and then you're joining the gaps up. Like so. So like little C's both sides. And then you're joining the gaps. Little links. Okay, so let's start with the pop doll. So I'm going to do a link going into my bracelet. So it's going round. I'm going to be rubbing that little line out afterwards inside here going to be going over the top and then I'm going to do a heart pop doll. So I'm going to do a heart, little face, neck. Let's bring this down a little bit. Arms. In for the body like a triangle. Let's do a nice heart again, and then two legs joining at the bottom. Some glasses, some feet. Okay, then I'm going to miss two, and I'm going to do a rainbow. So I want it so that the metal looks like it's going on the outside of the rainbow. So I'm gonna do a little rainbow Seven, as many stripes as you can. If you can fit seven, it would be great. If you want to send away the comments that are on your screen, just tap on the screen and the, the little comments will disappear so you can see the rest of the screen. Okay, then I'm gonna do a little cloud, flat bottom. Loud. And then on the outside, I'm going to just run my pencil around the whole of the outside so it creates like a space that that's on, like a plaque. Okay, spin around again. I've done a beetle bug. So I'm going to do a little... So I'm going to do a heart shape and then another heart in the middle and spikes coming out. And then a beetle bug stomach. So I'm creating like a little hexagon shape, like a square with the edges flat. Same again in the middle. And then a triangle here and then some little legs. lines around it to make it bling and some around the heart round again we go I'm gonna do a smiley face so make my little link again and I'm gonna do some lips so two mountains for the lips and then round again at the bottom teeth gap for the teeth teeth and then off of this I'm going to create links again that says smile I'm going to make these 3D let's just add another little layer to them and then on my lips I want it to make them look like they're all jaws so I'm going to Make little shapes inside of the lips, little squares with circles in the middle, and then join up each corner of the square to the circle. Inside here. Look 
can you see I've done like little squares or triangles and then join the corners up like so then I'm gonna do my apple miss a link on the chain draw another little link and we've got an apple leaf and then a round apple is quite easy one just a round ball and then we're going to color it in later miss two um, got a little cat so spiky ears little cat face Whiskers, eyes, long cat legs with little paws. Meow. You can make him a fat or thin cat. I like fat cat. And a big bushy tail. Okay. Round again, I'm gonna miss a few more out because I feel like it's not gonna fit in my space. So I'm gonna miss three, two this time and do on the third. I'm gonna do a lipstick charm. And this lipstick charm is on our key ring that we sell as well. It's our signature, our signature charm. I'm gonna show you. This is my bag I keep all my paint in, but it can be used as a makeup bag. On, on our, all of our products, we have this lipstick charm, this bling lipstick charm, which is our signature. So that's going to be on the charm, of course. Yeah, so that's going to go here. And then you've got a gold piece and then the lipstick. I'm going to paint that in a bit later. Little lucky pig. Next one. Two little ears, little nose. If you want to put other things in, if you want to put hearts, if you want to put stars, you can put your initials, you can put flowers, you could put people's names, you could do, you could do little cupcake, you could do a fairy, you could do an angel wing. You could do a now varnish, but lucky numbers. You could do um, little insects, bugs, animals, whatever you like. If you've got a dog, you can put your dog in. So you can really be experimental. See my little piggy pig. You could do your star sign, fruits, vegetables. There's my little pig. Oh, my pig doesn't look too piggy. I don't know why, but hey ho. Okay, let's do it. I'm gonna do a banana. So banana, you do a, th um, a little triangle and split it in half. And then you come down and then do a little bit at the end, like so. I'm gonna do an owl. Big eyes. Round body. Little feet on a branch. Little wings. Little hours. And then with mine, I've done that plate again. So I've followed the outline of my hour round, which is going to be like the background. So it's sitting on like a kind of plaque.
So we're in the middle of doing our drawing class. We're doing a charm bracelet today. So here I'm gonna do a star now. And then I'm going to have the middle so it isn't filled. Let's do that red piece of coral. So this will be gold. And then I'm going to do like a piece of red sea coral. I used to wear one of these on a bracelet when I went to Italy. And then let's do a little house. We could actually do a little stay safe to remember the times. So a little thatched roof, make a pretty cottage house, little chimney. Mm. Uh, I can hear you, can hear you. Stay safe. And then we're going to move on to the next one. Let's do a eye. Made out of jewels, so we can do a jeweled eye and do little jewels inside. We have we have we could do a nice heart, a jeweled heart, I've got one more space, I'm going to do my McDonald's chips, which I rarely, rarely eat, I haven't actually eaten for years, but I do love them. Dreaming of going out for dinner or it's quite a fun one, the chips. So they'll be yellow with the red and the outline as well. Around it. Whatever else you're dreaming of, you can put it in your charm. Your last charm can be what you're dreaming of. Bo bottle of wine, a cocktail. Um, I'm going to put my initials somewhere, maybe slot them in here. So I'm going to do a chain coming out and then I'm going to do a CP. So you could put your initials or someone else's initials. There you go. Okay, so you should have your charm bracelet. Finished. Give me a thumbs up if you've completed it. Great. 
So I've got my all my little charms round. Oh, oh, sorry, everyone. Hi, Oscar, Milo, and Archer. Just got a message to say you're on board. And Rebecca, hi. Oh, okay. Okay, so hopefully you've all done your drawing. Now we're moving on to painting. So let's take our paint. You can use any paint if you've got watercolours, if you've got colouring in pencils, if you've got acrylic, poster paint, felt tip, um, crayons, whatever you've got you can use today. So it's really, really flexible with that. But I'm using acrylic. So I've got my paint here. So I'm going to start by, I'll start with the chips. So I'm going to take my yellow. I'm going to paint those in quite boldly. Let's do my yellow. And you can either paint all of your yellow at the same time, or you can use um, different colours and keep washing your brush. But I'm going to keep with my yellow. So I'm actually going to paint everything. That, oh, I just mixed that with a little bit of white. I'm going to paint everything that's yellow on my piece of paper. Be careful that your wrist doesn't end up going in your work and smudging your work. As some, I don't know what, I'm worried to see where this is actually, because sometimes you end up getting paint on you and then it, oh, 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 then it goes on everything. Oh God, hang on. Oh, and stuff happens like that. <laughs> see, we all make mistakes. Quickly wipe that off. Thank God it was only water. There you go. So just be careful, like I've just given you an example of. So let's do the banana. I'm doing all my yellow things that I can find. So my rainbow has yellow on it as well. Okay, and I think that's it with the yellow. Wash my brush thoroughly. And now I'm going to take my red. Nice strong red. And paint my little chip packet red. Top of my rainbow. Uh, what else should we do? Red. My My red lipstick. Then we've got, what else can I paint red? Half of my apple, I'll do half red, half green. Move it on there. And then I've got my little red li um, lips here as well. So I'm going to do sections. Um, I'm going to mix it with a little bit of white just to create a bit more depth. And we're going to go over this in pen anyway, so if you don't go in the lines, it's not a problem. So usually with an artwork, I'll always do the drawing, then the paint, then the pen on top. OK, 
okay. And I've got my red, my lucky red piece of coral. You can always do a flag as well where you're from. Okay, now let's get the next color so I can use blue. I'm gonna paint my my eye. Mix so let's do my eye in here. Add. I'm really looking forward to seeing all of your artworks. So let's do the jewels of the eye. The wonderful thing about live sessions is you can ask any questions you like. So if you want to ask anything, just fire it away. I'm mixing a green here. Put a little bit of green in. But everyone's will probably look very different and you'll all have your own mark on them. My little heart, I'm going to do orange. And I actually don't have an orange at the moment. So I'm going to take my red and my yellow and mix them together to create an orange. Do my heart orange. So you already see it's really coming to life with colour. And then my orange inside of the rainbow. Like so. And fuchsia pink. I'm gonna do a little bit on my rainbow here. I'm gonna paint my piggy, where is he? Mr. Piggy Piggy. Turn your paper around if you want to do another section from another side. You don't have to work upside down. There you go. Dana, who's part of my team, wants a miniature pig. She's always, it's one of her dreams to have a mini micro pig. And you can have them as pets. So this is for you, Dana. <laughs> okay, let's do my owl, like a, I forgot to do him earlier. Let's do him blue. Blue owl. And the twig the leaves a bit lovely and green. Uh, where else can we put green on the apple? I'm going to mix the Half red, half green. Okay. And then green leaf. There. Okay, let's do my star purple. So you can experiment with colours and do your own thing as well, of course. How's everyone doing? So we've got purple. I'm going to mix a bit of purple and a bit of pink. I'm going to do my buggy bug, my little bug jewel.
There you go. Um, what else have we got to do? Finish off my rainbow. make my banana a bit more yellowy so I'm going to mix a bit of yellow with a little bit more white okay so it look it should look colored but it won't look really really neat right now and that's when you come along and you can tidy it all up at the end um let's do a bit more Okay, I'm just gonna show you how to tidy things up. So for instance, if you've got the heart, and then can then re-go over the heart. So can you see, before it looks messy, and then once you've gone over the edges, I'm all about doing different layers and layering. I've taken my pen, and gone over it and now it looks nice and tidy the orange and then I'm going to re-go over it again when that's dry take a little bit of white and do some light marks like so can you see it really brings it to life and I'm going to use my white paint that's the jewel and you can use the white paint in all of your work over the top layer and build up layers to create texture and depth. Here we go again. So for the bug, I've done the white and then you can go over it with the pen, neatly around the edges. If the paint's wet, the pen won't run smoothly in the work, as you can see. So you can wait till it's out, wait till it's dry, but I'm just doing it now because we've only got an hour. There we go, little bug. And then we can go over the rainbow with the pen. The, yeah, the, the acrylic paint I use is System 3, um, as you can see under here. By Dela and Rowley, they are really easy to use and you can get really lovely bright colours. You can order big packs of them and you, there's always offers. If you go on to Cass Art online, it's like the really good online art shop where you can order stuff to your house. Or the London Graphic Centre or Amazon or eBay. It's always nice to get lovely art equipment. I love getting new art equipment. Okay, so as you can see, I'm like outlining. When you do the outline on your charm bracelet, it just pops and it comes to life and it gives it a bit of va va voom, as I say. Va va voom. Here we go, do my eye. A bit of bling bling, bling bling, bling bling. And here. And then you could draw this one. So I'm going around every single thing with the pen and it just finishes it off. 
you see. How's everybody doing? The parts that I've left out are going to be gold and I'm using this gold paint, but you can use any other colour. So on my smile, I'm going to go over these little lines, the jewels. Like so. Hi Eva, can't wait to see your artwork and everyone else's. Okay, let's do the teeth and the big smile. It's always good. Don't worry if you're slow, take your time with this. Everything's gonna be on YouTube, you can catch up with the class and it's not like anyone's going anywhere, so we have all the time in the world at the moment to create a really, really cool piece of art that you can gift to somebody, you can frame. Okay. Let's do my apple. Hope you're all happy with this as well. Happy with the work you've done. So I'm only going round the bits that I've already painted. So I like to do the painting first, as I said, and then I like to outline it because I think you get a much neater line. Do the banana. Owl's eyes, nice big black. Little green sprouts. I've actually been planting, I bought some seeds online. So I've planted some green sprouts. That's what they look like at the moment. In the kitchen, we've got carrots and then I've got broccoli and all sorts. We'll just put them outside, which will be interesting. Okay. If you do these little lines around it, it makes it look like bling bling, like shiny. So I've got all of my colours there. Then I'm going to add my gold. But if you just continue outlining all the works you've done and painting in. So I'm going to take my gold ink, dip on in there. This is a Winston, Winston and Newton gold ink and it's a really beautiful, bright, bright gold. And I'm going to start painting my chain. This is the paint. And can you see this lovely, lovely gold? So if you want to save it or you want to go over the work afterwards, you can always order it online. This pot's about four pounds, but it literally will last you so long. If you want any of the equipment list or anything afterwards, I can send you pictures and just, just let me know. If you're going to do it with paint, you can do any other colour. You can do, you, yeah, you can mix a, a brown and a white together. You can make it a pop colour as well, so it can look like a plasticky type of chain. You can use any single colour you like. You can use your favourite colour. going around all of my bits that I want gold. On Monday, we're going to be doing an Easter special. 
art class at 11 o'clock on Monday. So if you go over your writing as well, like I've done just here, you can always go over it again with the pen. Just take your time and just enjoy it really. It should be quite therapeutic. Make sure the work is completely dry before you go over it with a pen. Okay. Is anyone doing that artwork for anyone that they're not with at the moment, that their grandparents or friends, or let me know who you're doing your artwork for. I can give a shout out to people, to friends or relatives. So can you see what a difference it makes once you've gone over the lines? It really does make all the artwork pop. This is the time consuming bit, all the painting afterwards, but all the detail does matter. So the more detailed and the more time you take, it'll be even better. The original one that I did took a lot, lot longer than this one because it's got more detail in it, but you still get an idea of how it is. Just take your time. Oh. Oh, nice to hear from you again, Lisa. Thank you. Okay, do a little. I've drawn all my favorite things here. So I hope you've added some of your favorites. If not, they're all of our favorites. Um, and I love charm bracelets. I've never had one, but I I used to have a Lynx of London bracelet. I got bought for a birthday present years and years ago, but I just fascinated with charm bracelets. I think they're so cool. So it should really, really come to life.
If anyone has any ideas or requests for a future piece of artwork that you would like to do or make, let me know. And I'd love to hear from you, like share your ideas with me. Very open to having your opinion and, you know, showing me an artwork that you'd like to do or a technique you'd like to learn. Okay, so you should see it will slowly come together, the whole thing. So I'm gonna write stay safe at home. How's everyone doing? So I'm redoing those C's because they've disappeared under the ink. Look at the difference it makes when you just add the outline to these edges. Just totally, totally pops. Lauren, great to hear you're enjoying this. This is a real favorite of mine at the moment. It's just a fun, fun piece. Okay, so just keep going, take your time, create gorgeous charms. And your style should come out as well in the work. Everyone has a very distinctive art style when they draw and paint. And even if the whole, even if like, like 50 people are painting the same thing, every single person's will be unique and turn out differently. And that's the great, and there's no such thing as right and wrong. And that's the great thing about art. And if you keep doing artwork and keep practicing, you'll really see your style come out. And you never know how it's going to be before you start. And it doesn't have to be perfect because sometimes the imperfections actually make the work. It gives it character. Mm, this gold's still wet. When you've done these, please post and share so we can get more people joining the classes if they want and to spread the art and to show your artwork off as well. Most important and be proud of what you've done. So you should have something that kind of looks dumb. Take your time with it though. If, it, if you want to, when I'm gone to continue, please do. I'm also going to like, because I'm only doing it with the hour, I'm not doing it perfect, perfect, but I would add little bits of white, little specks of white onto my work to give it that popping 3D. Like so, little bits like this. And then to finish off, 
we're going to write a message inside of our charm bracelet. So I've written on my one, lucky, 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 lucky me. But you can write whatever you like. You can write a mantra, you can write to somebody. So I'm going to put, what should I write inside? I'm going to say, make a wish and watch it come true. And I'm going to sign inside. Kisses. There we go. So you have just made yourself a lucky charmed artwork with a lovely, lovely, lovely message inside. So I hope you've all enjoyed today. Thank you so, so, so much for joining. If it wasn't for you lot, I'd be doing it on my own to myself. So I really appreciate everyone's work that you're sending through and taking the time to create a piece of artwork. Um, I'm just going to say hello. I'm so proud of everyone who's done it. So thank you everyone for um, getting involved today and I hope you've created your own piece of artwork. Lucky, lucky charm. Please share and like all the works and let me know if you need anything or want any advice at all. Um, have a great, great, great Easter Friday and an amazing weekend. It's beautiful outside. If you can get a walk, it's glorious out.